Hello! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, my name is Zago333 and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's for Test Drive. If you don't know what Five Nights at Freddy's is, is, you have not been on the internet for a couple years now. I don't know what cave you've, you've, you have been in. Um, I wish I could have been in there with you because uh, it's kind of been hard to ignore more of this game. Um, it was released back in, what, 2014 by Scott Coffin, and it took the internet by storm for its spooky, scary jump scares. Um, there are four more games, five actually, technically six, sorta, and there's going to be a movie, there are like two books out, out written by the author, and it's just a big fucking thing. We're going to be hopping into it, I've played, the, I've played all the games up to four, because... I don't know why I bought them. At the time, I thought it was scary. Now, I'm kind of over the whole FNAF craze. But, it's only fair to uh, hop in and see if it still holds up. Help wanted. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Family pizzeria looking for a security guard to work for night shift. Si okay. Yeah, sure, just... Alright, 12 a.m. first night. 2,000 FPS already. Um, Very excellent performance. I have to... Alright. Back to 60 now. God, the fucking screen tearing or whatever the hell this is is just terrible. <sighs> Alright, pick up the phone. There we go. Hey, what's up? Well, good for you. I know it be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you'll... <sighs> so, let's just focus... Is the no soul school? Yeah, it does. Okay, uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy <sighs> A little bit. I don't. I don't give a shit to be honest. Um, not giving me the option to skip this. I probably would, but. Eh. The bite, eighty seven. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watcher, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without a costume. Well, that's a pretty big design error, isn't it, huh? Probably for the best. Alright. So yeah, that was a good message. Something that always bothered me is why why the doors take up power to be held down? 
And I know, you know, for gameplay mechanic, they have to. But, like, logically, how does that work? If anything, it would be the, the other way around, right? I don't know. Shit, there's still the screen tearing going on here. A little bit. It's not nearly as bad, but still. Alright. There's usually a strategy I kind of I uh, remember using a bit to cheese night one. You just uh, do nothing for the first part, and then at 3, 4 a.m. just put the camera up and do nothing. Or put this door down and do nothing. Because uh, if you do that um, and you don't check the cams, Foxy will come out early and ch rush the door. But since it's down, you can't do anything and you can just wait for the night. No, I would do that, but that's not real. That's kind of cheap. That's not really in the spirit of the game. That said, night one is pretty fucking boring, so it doesn't really matter, does it? And there goes fuckface. Yep. Um, where's that boy at? Oh, there's that boy. What up, boy? What you looking at? Where are you going? Moving so quickly already, alright. Pirate Cove? No, we don't go to Pirate Cove, that's right. Alright, they're coming down the hall. Um. Oh, I was right there. All right. Up oh, there you are. All right, we're just gonna keep that closed for a bit. All right, now, all right, now we're good. Oh, hey, Foxy. Up so early. Up there's... What's her name? Now I'll just keep the door closed. Fuck it. What's up, boy? Chica never, uh, if I recall correctly, Chica never, uh, comes down all the way. Hey, what's up? Something up with your, um... I'm sure she knows. I'll keep it down a little bit. Um... Where's Bonnie? He was there. Let's see, yeah, that's him. Oh, we're nearly to uh, night two. It's nice. And, um, I'm just going to wait the rest of the night out, I guess. Nice. 
Yep. Um. Keep hearing movement, so I th I'm thinking like, up oh, Foxy's getting ready to run. Up oh, there we go. All right, night one's done. <sighs> Let's, uh... This is a lot more boring than I remember, to be honest. Like, I figured it wasn't gonna be as scary because of all the uh, exposure, you know, the overexposure, but I didn't think it would be boring. As boring as it is, at least. Oh, right off the bat. There he is, all right. Oh, can meet the call now. What's up, buddy? Well, that's a pretty big design oversight, isn't it? Honestly, I think the fan base is scarier than the fucking actual game at this point. Or at least I'm more disturbed by it, I guess I'll say. I mean, I know they're dumb kids, so I shouldn't be too bad, but I read... I used to be on, like, the fanfiction.net site a bit. And I used to read, like, f these fan fictions where they have the night guards romancing the fucking robots. And I know they're dumb kids, so I shouldn't give them too much shit. I was a dumb kid once, and I... I was horribly obsessed with something, so I can't give them too much shit. But still, I mean... Okay, there, there's a chicken. Where is... There's a bird. There's the bunny. Foxy, Freddy... But yeah, I mean, hell, I bought all four games, so I was kind of a part of that, but, God, it was just, it all got way too out of hand, you know? And the fuck is Chica? Still there, alright. Okay, Chica's somewhere else now. Yep, yep, sorry. Didn't realize you needed to go. Um... Is 
So, yep, sorry, I'll, I'll keep looking. See? Yeah, he's in the corner now. Yep, there we are. Is she? Where's she at? Yep, alright. He's there. Foxy. Um... Is that fucking meme font? That's fucking meme font. What the shit? Spooky scary, oh my god. Free spooky five me. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, it's giving me the heebie jeebies. Giving me the heebie jeebies. Alright, can he shut up, please? I'm trying to... I'm trying to... Oh my god, look at him! Ah! <sighs> Alright. Where is... Yeah, she's still there. Foxy. Not doing too much, are you, Fox? Yeah, just go ahead and waste up my power, you know? Alright, she's he's there. Freddy, you're, you don't do fucking anything, that's right. Mm. Yeah, you're there. He's, yep, you're still fucking there, wasting my power. So, <laughs> fuck. <sighs> he moved a bit too quickly, I think, but eh, whatever. <sighs> oh, there are my eyeballs. <sighs> Alright, I, I admit, that did get me a little bit. But, um... I don't know. I fr probably... I am far past FNAF fatigue. I'm just fucking sick of it, to be honest. So I'm probably pretty biased. A little bit against the game. I guess it's not terrible. You know what? It made a man make a lot, lot of money. From what I understand, Scott's a good guy, so he, you know, just, here's a product, there's demand for it, so he's supplying it, I, I gotta respect him for that, that's capitalism at work, but I'm just not a fan of these games, to be honest, at least anymore. But yeah, um, that's Five Nights at Freddy's is on Steam right now for five bucks, you can get a bundle. With all the games for, I think, around 20. And also the Halloween sale's coming up soon, so you'll probably, you can probably get it for, like, half off. If you're curious, I personally would not recommend it, but... If it looks like it, uh, piques your interest, why not go for it? I mean... There's Steam refunds for a reason. Like, even if you finish the game, I finished the game and it only took me like, uh... Sorry, bad. Only took me like two hours to beat. So you could beat this game and still get a refund if you wanted to, which... You know, you could do that if you want. So, if you're curious, go ahead and check it out. If you liked this video, go ahead and leave a like. If not, feel free to dislike. If you want to see more of my content in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. 
uh, uploads every weekday and every Saturday um, with some exceptions but hopefully not many more coming up um, if you have any feedback or suggestions for games to play for or, uh, Test Drive Saturday, go to leave it in the comment section below. I read all comments and I appreciate everything you have for me. I have a Patreon link down in the link below. If you want to uh, support me financially, I don't have ads because I don't make ad revenue or anything. So this is the only way I can make money. I also have a Discord down in the link below if you want to chat with me or play games or anything like that. Discord's a place to do it. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.